What's up, Dykes fam? What's up? We hope you guys are doing awesome today. Dykes kids, how you doing? Great. Mom, how you doing? Um, I'm exhausted. I think I need a vacation from our vacation's vacation. So we just made it back from our awesome cruise from Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. And we wanted to give you guys a little bit of a recap, but also share with you our review of our experience on the ship and going on our very first cruise as a family. That's right. Did everybody have fun? Yeah! yeah! So, first question is, what did you guys think when you first saw the giant cruise ship? It was awesome. It had like, it looked like a party on top. It had all these slides. You could see the pools. There's like a flow rider. And you just look at the other ships and none of them looked as much fun as this one. It was so big and I was so excited for all the activities it may have on it. I looked at all the rooms with the balconies and I was so excited to go, go find our room. They had so many pools and lots of activities that you could see, and I couldn't wait to see what our room looked like. Risey, what did you think about the boat? It was awesome. It was awesome, <laughs> huh? Here you go. Here's your little boat that we built. So did anybody get seasick while they were on the ship? Yeah, on yeah. the last day, <laughs> it was kind of rocking a lot. It kind of felt weird when we were walking around, and. I kind of felt seasick. Yes, I got seasick on the fourth day. We were on the ship all day, and at night I just had sea legs. I couldn't walk. My head was hurt, and I, I, I had really bad sleep. But were you seasick more of the time or not seasick most of the time? Most of the time I wasn't. That's right. Yeah. So you only got seasick maybe just like a little bit on one of the days, right? Yeah. I never got seasick. Nice. <laughs> I'm like a wimp and I get super sick and out of the three cruises that I've been on, I was the least sick on this one. Nope. It was like mostly just when I was really tired and I laid down at night, you can kind of feel your bed moving. But okay. besides that, I was pretty good. But they have these, what did people wear, Tayden? They had like little pack like little circles behind their ears and I was like what are those and it was um to help them it was medicine Good. so that they wouldn't no. be seasick oh, yeah so you can actually get little patches or take medicine that help you so that you don't get seasick so you can enjoy your cruise so what did you guys think about sleeping on the cruise ship did anybody I, have any problems or did you like it? it I liked it so much because I'm not I don't really sleep well but then on that, it brought me like right to sleep. <laughs> it, it, I didn't feel a thing. I just laid down and fell straight asleep. It mm -hmm. helped that we were exhausted from fun. Yeah. The thing that I liked about when we were going to bed is every time that we go to our room, there's like an animal. Yeah, oh, they yeah. would make to towel animals for us, huh? Yeah. So it's always fun to go back to our room at night and see what was there. What was your I favorite like the one? animal. Oh, Rosie, you like yeah. the animals? Which yeah. one? There was oh, a bunny. Yeah, the, the dog was sunglasses. There was a that bunny, an anteater, an elephant. Elephant. You Lots love those animals. animals, huh? What was your favorite thing you ate on the cruise? Did we eat a lot on the cruise? Yeah. If you guys don't know this, all the food is inclusive on a cruise, and you can just eat all day, every day, buffet style, dining, like ice cream, pizza, whatever you want. What was your favorite thing you ate? Everything. <laughs> I ate like five plates. <laughs> My favorite yeah, thing was probably was all of the food because like one time I, I got a plate completely full with fruit mm -hmm. and then I just got like my, like mashed potatoes and, and just plain fruit as what I got one time. <laughs> the, dessert. <laughs> oh, the dessert! Oh, the dessert. The dessert was good. Yeah, but the dessert was so good. did you like the mac and cheese? Yeah. You like the mac and cheese? Yeah. I really liked eating in the dining room because I thought it was fun for the kids to kind of go to a fancy dinner. They haven't really been somewhere like that where they had to use eight different knives, spoons, and forks and have manners at the table, so I thought hey, it was a fun. We do have manners. <laughs> sure. I know, that now when you burped, you had to say excuse me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I thought it was fun for us to go and have a fancy dinner every night, right? Yeah. 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 So overall, you guys like the food on the cruise ship? Yeah. 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 Really good. It was the best. If you didn't gain 10 pounds, you didn't have fun. <laughs> Our first stop was the beautiful Nassau Bahamas, in which we went to Atlantis Aquaventure Water Park. Oh Woo! yeah, was that awesome or what, guys? It was so awesome. Was awesome. I loved Atlantis because 
they had a rapids river and mm -hmm. you like go on a tube and Roswell even got to go on it. And mm -hmm. my favorite slide was definitely the shark tube slide. You went down an awesome like dark slide, but then there was a little like, you went underneath like a waterfall and then you'd be in a shark tube and there's just sharks swimming all around you. <laughs> yeah, that but ride was amazing. My favorite part was probably the rapid river until the last time that we went. Because I almost tipped over until a guy saved me. <laughs> but then th there was two shark slides, but my favorite one, but I didn't go on it, was probably the straight down one. Ooh, that looked awesome, huh? Where you yeah. go str straight down into the shark tank. The tube. Off the Mayan temple. Yeah. Oh. The tube slides were really fun. The power tower one was almost a straight drop. And then the shark one, yeah, it was amazing. So you, you went in a tube and you went through this little tunnel and there's just sharks swimming all around it. Yeah, what kind of sharks were they? They were Caribbean reef sharks and nurse sharks. Were you guys nervous at all when yeah, you were going through they that? Were, they were pretty <laughs> big sharks. Did you survive? Yeah. Yeah, I survived, Ross. <laughs> Just barely. So at the gorgeous Atlantis Resort, I loved their private beach. Like it was the most beautiful beach I've that we've been to so far. The water was like the like William says it looked like Kool-Aid. Yeah, it was someone like, like, oh yeah! Instead of an oil spill, it was a blue Kool-Aid spill. <laughs> but the water was the warmest ocean water I've ever yeah. felt. It was crystal blue, and the sand was so soft, and there was the perfect amount yeah. of waves. And it was like nighttime, and we're swimming in the water. It was just so and warm. just diving into the waves. It was so warm. It was yeah. really fun, huh? I loved mm -hmm. the beach. Does anybody remember the taxi ride there? Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> Ever it's gone. like going on a school bus of terror. Yeah, <laughs> you're like no seat belts, like running red lights, bouncing up and down. Yeah, literally, oh my god! If, there's a video game called Crazy Taxi, and that's literally what it's like. <laughs> you're just like, hey, <laughs> like at one of the shops, I got my first hair wrap. Dun dun dun. That's right. Okay, now you do a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that kind of rap. What? That rap. That kind of, that, that kind of rap. That. Rosie. <laughs> Do it again, Ross. Can we run over here? <laughs> boom, but boom. Also, did you guys think that their huge aquarium that they had in Atlantis was super awesome? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I really like it. It was a gorgeous resort, and I hope that sometime we can go back and just stay at the resort for a week. Would you guys want to? Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. So we went back to the ship, got some food and sleep, and then we woke up the next day where? Coco K! No, not just Coco K. It's the perfect day at Coco K. At Coco K, they had the tallest water slide in the USA. Did anybody go on it? No. no. Chicken! <laughs> you wouldn't have gone on it. Actually, we didn't actually go to the water park. They have tons of activities on Coco K Island. It's the private island that belongs to Royal Caribbean. But because we had done the water park the day before at NASA, we decided to do more of the beach stuff oh, at Coco K. It was amazing. The water, it was the most clear blue water. Like when you see all these pictures, you're like, I want to go there. And that's where <laughs> you got to go. We snorkeled and me and mom saw it a sunken pirate ship that had like cannons, mm -hmm. big cannons. And my favorite animal that we saw was the barracuda. <laughs> it was a little scary. Yeah, it was scary because we were on a floating dock and it's just under there hovering and there's people with their feet off the dock, their toes just <laughs> dangling. I was like, oh gosh, someone's gonna lose their toes today. Luckily we <laughs> were not his lunch though, right? Yeah. Yes. But we also saw like a stingray and we saw tons of tropical fish and sea cucumbers. Yeah, I thought cucumbers. those were awesome. And then Tayden was diving down and found some like sea doll or sea sand dollars. dollars. Sand dollars and some clams and stuff. It was so yeah. fun to like take all these kids snorkeling for the first time in the ocean. Yeah, what'd you guys think of your very first time snorkeling ever? It Ooh. was fun. It was so I like cool. the full mask one because it's it's kind of easier. If you want to, you can breathe through your nose. I really liked it. It was like really fun because you could see all the fish just going around you. And the fish weren't really that scared of you. So they're just like right there and you're like, oh. Literally, there was a black fish with blue outlining and it was like, right here, right in front of my face. And I was gonna grab it, but then it just like, <laughs> slowly moved away. I'm it's like, just like, 
I think, you, I think you guys were more scared of the fish than they were of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What's awesome is that because it's all included, they even have like a lunch buffet there on the island that's all included with your cruise. So you got to eat, get ice cream whenever you want, fresh fruit whenever you want. And then they also have the largest freshwater pool in the whole Bahamas. Yeah. Right, guys? They yeah. literally had an island in the middle of it. Yeah, it was like a, one of those small islands with palm trees on it. And there was a huge iguana on it. Yeah, the and wildlife is just yeah, amazing. Though. Me and Tin were like, that definitely swam across the pool to get there. Yeah. <laughs> Iguanas can swim. They also have a couple like smaller little water parks within there that aren't the big scary ones, right? They have some awesome little kid playgrounds and those are fun to go and splash in and play in, right? Yeah. And it really was like the perfect day at Coco Cay. We had so much fun. Yep. So that night we went back to the ship and we saw a, a really interesting show. What was it? Ventriloquist. <laughs> if you didn't know this on cruise ships, they have shows like every night, all day, all night, lots of different things to do. And we decided to go to the ventriloquist show. Can you guys all do ventriloquism? I don't even know uh, what it's called. This is going to be so Who's going to do the best ventriloquist? Hey, what do you do when you're a ventriloquist? You, you talk, with talk for your puppet like it's barely moving your voice. You moved your mouth though. They talk without moving Hello. their mouth. It is My crazy. My name is Christina. Hi. My Hello. name is I am Tiden. a walking Dice. puppet. My name is... <laughs> <laughs> On the last day on the cruise ship, we were out at sea, so we got to enjoy all of the awesome things that Navigator of the Sea ship has to offer, has to offer, has to offer. So what were your favorite activities that we did that day? Right when we woke, woke up, me and William went and played soccer on the oh, soccer court. Yeah. That's right, they have awesome sports courts, right? Where you can play all sorts of games. Who would have ever thought that a cruise ship out in the warm Bahamas has an ice skating rink on it? Ew. And it was actually William and Nicole's first time that they ever ice skated, how was it? It awesome. was so fun, I wish we could go longer. But they also had an ice skating show where they had like professional ice skaters and it was awesome. Yeah, amazing. Like the tricks that they did They're and like, stuff, it was super cool. Like none of us are really interested <laughs> in ice skating, but they were like doing tricks that nobody could do. No one. Yeah, like the oh, Olympics. So it was crazy. crazy. It was super fun. And then we did Florida and that was really fun. And then we went to the arcade. I went on the mat slide and it was super cool because one part you would go off the ship. And their slides right now on Navigator to the Sea is the very longest slide out of any cruise ship in the Bahamas right now. Yeah, it's amazing. I really like doing the wall climbing and the mini golf. Oh yeah, yeah that was, that was fun, awesome. Huh? Then for the first time ever, the Dykes Kids sang karaoke. Woo! Was that scary or yeah. was it fun? It was yeah. scary, but once you did it, it was fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun, huh? Tayden, what song did you sing? We Will Rock You. <laughs> Nikoi, what song did you pick? Demons by Imagine Dragons. And then we enjoyed another fancy dinner. Did you guys have better manners the second night when you knew what to do? Yes. Yeah. We, what to do. <laughs> we had the best waiters and waitresses too. They were so good with our kids. They were awesome. And then we picked up some awesome souvenirs. That's right. We got some hats and this. we got to build this cool cruise ship. Nikoi got a what? A hat. And? and a backpack. That's this right. took like five hours to build. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard. And then we had to get to bed because on the cruise you actually have to get off pretty early the next morning. So we enjoyed our last night on the cruise and got some sleep and got up the next morning and took off. Right? Yeah. And then, I was sad to leave the cruise ship. Oh yeah. How did you guys feel when the cruise was over? I was like, dang it. I need a break. Dang, those miles upside down. Oh, we love the cruise, huh? That was our vacation from our vacation. And yeah. then now we need a vacation. But we are so super exhausted, too, at the same time. So overall, you guys had an, a great experience on the Royal Caribbean Navigators of the Seas? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Who's ready to go on another cruise? Me. Me, please. <laughs> After we got off the cruise, we went and picked up our RV. It was in the shop getting fixed and it cost about $600 because we had to get uh, two new batteries replaced here in the house to run all of our power. Our RV is officially fixed. And <laughs> until it breaks again. Until, until it breaks, breaks the next again. Thing. <laughs> until next time. But for now, it's running great. That's right, and this vacation from our vacation is not over because we have some awesome places that we're going to now here in Florida. Who knows where we're going? Disney, Disney World! World. Universal Studios, SeaWorld, and 
Lego Land. Whoa! <laughs> Go crazy! This is the Dykes fam's very first trip to Orlando and to Disney World. So we are yeah. super stoked to be going seeing all of those awesome parks. And we're gonna cram it all in because hey, we're here in Florida, we might as well do it. <laughs> we're gonna in need, Florida. We're gonna need a lot more vacations. Yeah. <laughs> and you never know, like who knows if we will ever make it back here. So we're like, hey, yeah. we're passing through Orlando, let's just do it all now. Do That's all. right, who's excited? <laughs> Me! Me! Okay, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you guys wanna see amusement park fun with the Dykes oh. fam. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. We got some roller coasters coming your way. <laughs> And as always, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out!